My most worn items in the month of May. We're gonna start with accessories. So I'm a hoop girl. I love hoops and very rarely do I veer off from wearing hoops. So we'll start with the hoops. This pair I've been wearing all month long. I love the size and I love how they go from thinner to thicker like that. I think that they're super cute and they're on sale right now. So yay. One of the standby hoops that I just wear almost like a staple piece is this pair right here because they are smaller and they're more of a a bronzed look I feel like they're not you know quite as shiny they just kind of blend in and just you know make the outfit just a little bit more extra and then for some fun earrings that I've been wearing lately I love these in the summer the rattan earrings and this is bigger than what I usually wear but I just think that they're so fun so cute and they're real lightweight so these have been fun to wear and then lastly only because, um, not only because, but these are new to me and I think they're so fun. They are beehive. I don't know if you can tell, but so, so cute. And I love that they have the silver and the gold and they just hang down. They're not quite as low as these hoops right here. And they're just fun and just a little bit different. Continuing on with jewelry, this necklace I've been wearing almost every day since I got it. This was a Mother's Day gift to me, and I just think it's pretty. It's just a coin with the Kendra Scott emblem. Staying with the theme of jewelry, I wear these bracelets every day. This one is from Mignon Faget. So pretty and dainty. It's gold with like the pearl little buttons all around, and then these two are just different. Uh, this one's thicker and this one's thinner. Lagos bracelets, love them. On this arm by Apple Watch, I wear this every day and I love that it has the tricolors. I don't know if you can see that, but it has silver, gold, and rose gold in it. And I love it because I feel like it goes with everything. Gold, silver, rose gold. And then a cup by three, actually, uh, David Yerman bracelets. It's funny how we can have a closet full of shoes and yet we gravitate to the same three or four pair <laughs> to wear over and over and over. At least that's how I am. So the shoes that I grab for the most of the month in May that just, I just, don't even think about it. I just grab them because they're comfortable, they're cute, and they go with pretty much anything. So the first pair are these cork sandals. And one of the reasons that, first of all, they're comfortable, but another reason why I grab them is because they have just a little heel, which makes them just a little bit dressier than, say, a flat sandal. So love the cork design, so comfortable, and just easy to wear with shorts, a skirt, a dress, jeans. It's just a no-brainer. And then another pair, actually I have them on, let me take them off. This one is uh, so pretty. It's just a neutral flat sandal. Now the other one I showed you is just a little bit dressier because it has that heel on it. But this one has a real good cushion bed right here. And this is in the color makeup. That's what it is. And it's just a color that sort of blends in with my skin. And again, just goes with so many things. When I'm not looking for a heel, just a flat sandal, this has been my go-to. Okay, and I would say the least casual sandals that I grab are these, and they are Tory Burch Millers, and they are just simple in style. I've had these for several years now. Now they are a little spendy, but I've had them probably three years and they're still going strong. So cost per wear, yeah. And then they have a really good uh, cushion for the footbed too. So there's that. And then the last pair of shoes that I grab all the time are just your basic white sneakers. I love these. These are by Cole Haan. And I just, I love Cole Haan shoes. I think that they're very well made. They're very comfortable. And I like just a basic white sneaker with not a lot of blingy bling on the side. Uh, I, this is like, not your athletic sneaker, but like your everyday wear sneaker. So super comfortable, super practical. Last in the category of accessories is purses. Now, this is the one that I reach for the most. This is my Louis Vuitton. I love this bag. It's neutral. It goes with everything. Very, very spendy, but I love it so much. And it comes with this guitar strap type 
strap and then it also comes with this gold one you can switch it out and make your look a little bit dressier the other handbag that i've been reaching for in the month of may is this one this is a camera style handbag it has the pocket right here and then the gold chain like the louis and it also has the guitar strap so you can switch it out to be a more casual purse or a more dressy purse depending on what you're wanting i love the straw because then it just it sort of screams summer and it's a great size bag too if it's everything that i need in here so i'm all about a good neutral bag with some versatility like the different type of straps moving on to nail polish so if you follow me on instagram stories you usually see i usually do my nails myself on sunday nights while we're watching tv for the week and it lasts me all week long so i do go and get pedicures but i polish my own nails and so you'll see that my colors are kind of very much the same but that's just what i tend to gravitate towards so these are the colors that i wore in the month of may all right so the first one is let's be friends by hello kitty so there's that this one is funny bunny a classic <laughs> this one is pink in bio and then this one is the beige of reason and of course you can see they're all sort of white pinky beigey nudes that's just the colors that I like. Every once in a while, I'll go for like a bright pink or um, Cajun shrimp or strawberry margarita, something like that. But most of the time, I say 90% of the time, I'll be wearing a shade like this. Diving into hair products. So what I use in between shampooing is this and it's by living proof and it's the perfect hair day dry shampoo so the way that i use this is first of all you have to shake it up okay and then you sort of section pull up a section of your hair pull it over and spray shake it pull up another section spray kind of do that all over i kind of do like one two three four five six and then i let it sit for just a minute like 20 seconds 30 seconds and then I take my fingers in my hair and I literally, you know, rub it all, all, all around and just get it all in my scalp and through my hair. I love this dry shampoo. I've tried other brands that have been recommended and I don't like any of them as well as I like this one. So good. But you have to shake it up. Okay. It doesn't, it's like everything separates. If you, if like this was clear and you could see in here, you would see that the ingredients are separated. And so if you don't shake it, you're just getting the bottom ingredient down there. So you want to make sure that you shake it up. All right. And then, so this is a hair product that I use when I get out of the shower. It is botanical repair and it's by Aveda and it's strengthening leave-in treatment. And I just take about the size of a nickel in the palm of my hand, rub them together, and I'll just put it all through my hair and squeeze it into my hair. It just helps keep my hair conditioned and soft and feels good. Okay, the next hair product is this, and this is the hair heat protectant that I love the most. First of all, I love the smell and it not only is thermal protecting but it is also a conditioning mist so literally like I'll, I'll do a section of my hair and then I'll spray this through and as I'm pulling the hot tool through it I can feel it it just feels softer as it goes down which is like crazy because you think you know with the damage that you're doing to your hair but I feel like I'm not damaging that bad because it's a heat protectant too. So it softens my hair, smooths my hair, and protects my hair from the heat. Absolutely love this product. And you may have seen me talk about, when did I talk about this? Recently, I don't know, maybe a month ago, I had been without this and I was using another, it was by Redken, I was using a heat protectant by Redken. And when I got this one to replace it, it was like, oh my gosh, why did I wait so long to get this one back? Because it's that good. Last in the hair, 
department is this hairspray and this is the air control by Aveda. Now, if you're somebody that likes a lot of hold, this is not going to be for you. If you're somebody that likes light hold where you can move your hair around, run your fingers through it and it's still going to, you know, it's movable, then this is a great one. It's not too sticky. It was well, not sticky at all, really. And it's like I said, you can put your fingers through it and it's not like helmet hair. Nothing at all stiff about it, but that's what I like because it holds my style in place but allows me to have it has movement to it as well. Before we move on, I just want to say thank you for being here. If you like this type of video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and tap the subscribe button. That way you won't miss any videos. I put a new video out every Thursday and anything that I describe to you, any makeup or hair care or jewelry, anything is going to be listed in the description box below. And so if you ever need any information, you can always ask me in a comment or you can just check that description box below. Also, in the About Me section, I have a link to my Like to Know It, and you can find all of these items listed there as well. Now let's talk about makeup. I don't know if you're this way, but in the summer months, I tend to go a little bit lighter with my makeup. I just feel like it's hot, and I just want lighter colors, lighter everything. I don't want to feel like I'm smothered with a heavy foundation or anything like that. So this is the eyeshadow that I've been reaching for in May and it's not just an eyeshadow palette it's actually a face palette so it has blush and bronzer and highlighter in it but what I mostly use in this particular palette is the eyeshadow and I'll tell you what colors I use so first I'd usually take this tan right here and this one and I'll kind of mix them together and for that it's like a light what it end up being is like a light tan and I'll put that on my eyelid up to like the socket line on both sides and then I take this bronzy color right here and I will take that and put that like a, a windshield wiper back and forth in the socket line on on each eye and then this light color right here kind of like a bone color i'll take that and put it up to from the space from where the bronze is up to my eyebrow to just finish the look off it's so simple it's so easy it's i just think it's a very simple no-brainer look kind of to go to so i love this palette Next, the foundation that I tend to use most in the summer is this powder foundation. Again, because I don't like that heavy feeling of something sticky. And so this is by Laura Geller and I have it in the shade light. And what I'll do is I'll take a dense brush like this and I'll sort of press it in and in my T-zones, so like my forehead and my nose and my chin, I will I will press it in to really try to get the pores, you know, even and just not look so big. And then I will take it and then I'll dip my brush lightly and kind of go over the rest of my face. But I want to take a dense brush and do the pressing on the T-zone and then lightly everywhere else. And I was going to show you this. So I love Laura Geller products. And they just came out with this is the same thing only it's in they're calling it the bite size i think it's a great travel size and i'm going to the beach next week and i'm taking this with me so let me show you it's the same exact thing but it's in this tiny little um, container it has a mirror on one end but watch okay okay see how it popped up it was down and then it popped so this is a sponge this is the same product that I just showed you. And so you can take the sponge, kind of mash it in there, and then kind of use it like that. Oh my goodness, this takes up hardly any room. I love that. So anyway, I will link a link to both of them down below in the description box. But I just think this one is kind of fun if you want to test it before you would buy the bigger one. They're not that expensive anyway, but there's that. Okay, blush I've been reaching for the most. I go for like lighter pink colors in the summer. This is this one and it's called Doll Face. I love it. So pretty. And then the last makeup thing that I was going to share with you is my contour stick. 
This one is by Westman Atelier, and I have it in the shade Biscuit. So this pops off, and then it, it pops up like this, and I just run it down the side of my nose, like this, underneath my cheekbones. Sometimes I'll put it up on my forehead, and then on my jawline, and I'll take a brush and sort of blend it all in. This one really isn't makeup, but I feel like it really goes with the theme of summer. And so this is my moisturizer with SPF. It's so important that we wear SPF every day. And so instead of having an extra step, like a moisturizer and then add SPF, I just do this because it has both combined. This is by Revision and it's called IntelliShade. There's several different types of IntelliShade. I like the tinted one. This has an SPF of 45, and it's just a light tint like that. I love the way it goes on, and this is what I wear every day without fail. So you know how the last step that you put on is your moisturizer and your SPF before you would start applying makeup. This is what I use. I can't say enough good about it. So, so good. Lastly, I want to share with you five outfits that I have been wearing on repeat in the month of May. The first look I want to show you is this pair of linen shorts. They are in the color Whiskey. Love them. They are a linen cotton blend, so they don't wrinkle as much as 100% linen. Yes, they still wrinkle. That's just part of linen, but I think they're really cute and a really good length. I think this is a five inch inseam. And I have it paired with this white tee. Not all white tees are created equal. Some you can see through, and this is one that you cannot see through. I love that it has the elbow sleeve length and that it is that Pima cotton that is just not sheer. And then I have the camera bag that I showed you earlier with the guitar strap as a strap, and then the white sneakers that I showed you as well. That's just an easy, casual, go-to look that I will just grab in the warmer months. The next look I want to show you is this green dress. I know I've shown this to you like a million times, but it's what I grab and wear the most. So it's so easy. It's one and done. Throw the dress on, grab some shoes. In this particular picture, I'm wearing it with the cork sandals that I showed you. So it's so easy. Throw on a few accessories, you're out the door. Love it. And it's one of those shift dresses that doesn't touch you and it's just so for summer. <laughs> then the next look I want to show you is the striped pink top that I have on paired with white pants and this is with the cork sandals as well. This is a long sleeve top but it's very sheer and breathable so I like to just cuff the sleeves to about here and it's just it's not hot I can't explain it it's just very breathable and comfortable to wear and I love pink and white together I think that's so crisp and just really pretty the next outfit I want to show you is this fun floral dress I love this this just screams summer to me uh, resort cruise beach date night I wore it out the other night with my husband when we went out to dinner it's so pretty and so feminine and so dainty and oh I was gonna tell you too when I went to go take the dress off, I untied the straps and I tucked them just to see what it would look like. I tucked them inside and it looked like a completely different dress. It didn't have, I mean, I liked the bow at the top, the, you know, the, how it drapes down, but if that's not your look, it could just be like a um, sleeveless dress and it, you won't even be able to tell that it had the straps if you prefer that, that look. So it's kind of versatile in that way. All right, I wanted to show you the striped sleeveless blue top that I have paired with white shorts. And again, you'll see the braided sandals that I show you. Again, I just feel like I reach for the same four pair of shoes over and over. I hope maybe you got a tip or two how to style things or an idea for how to wear things or some makeup tips or something. That is the whole goal. So again, thank you for spending part of your day with me today. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next week.